Hello friends, neighbors, John your Wish Neighbor here, welcome down to the nook and welcome back to the channel. I know I put out some videos over the last couple of weeks, but I have not been here. I've been far, far away and I thought, you know, coming back to Canada, I should do something Canadian. And just before I left, I had picked up a bottle of this uh, Gretzky Estate Signature Rye. You know, it's a five-year-old straight rye. You know, Tim Wilson, I think, really put a lot of heart and soul into this. So... I'm going to taste this rye with you guys. And then I thought, oh, what do I have that's a 50% rye? And oddly enough, even though I have lots of rye, I didn't seem to have one. So this was fairly close. It's American. This is MGP. It's a 95.5 rye. Uh, Six-year-old, 45.75, 46 kind of thing, 40.50. I don't know. thought it might be a nice comparison to just get into some rye grain. Uh, as a Canadian, it certainly warms my heart to try a dram of this. So why don't you pour something, even better, a Canadian rye, and come on back. Three, four. Thanks for coming back. Uh, feels good to be down here in the nook, but... This is still kind of a new nook and I don't have it all working yet. I don't know what cameras are going to work, what aren't, but this is 100% rye from Wayne Gretzky Estates. It tells us good information on here. We've got, uh, you know, 50% ABV. It says, um, now it says once used X bourbon. I want to say, well, that's first fill, but first fill means after they've dumped the bourbon then you're using it first fill. But when you say once used, I'm like, well, wait a second. Is it second fill? Is it like it was a bourbon that it was once used? I don't know. But at any rate, once used X bourbon and some new oak on this. Um, oh, they give the rye type. I better read it off there. It's uh, Brissetto rye, 100% Brissetto rye. That's really cool. Five years old, once used American, and, uh, and then recharred on that one. And Tim Wilson is the distiller. Uh, I just, I am, I, when I saw this, you know, I picked it up, uh, maybe as a bonus, I'll shoot a little bit of their whiskey sour. They're both on sale. They were priced really well. And I think the presentation is spot on. So as long as this rye is good, this could be a really nice recommend for a Canadian rye. Let's talk the liquid though. So this uh, signature rye on the nose. spicy peppery but also a sweet red apple or sweet red candy yeah I'm getting a lot of play between sweetness and sugars and peppers and spices I'm not getting a lot of rye bread yet but I'm just quick on the nose here yeah okay I, I didn't quite get rye bread but I got a huskiness I got a graininess a huskiness some oakiness um, to go with the spices Sugars are still there, but they're not, um, it's hard to define them. They're just kind of sweet. Still getting a bit of red apple. Just a nice crisp red apple. Uh, and, and even though I shared that with you, that's the fruit note I'm getting. I don't want to classify this one as fruity. I would say this one right now is still savory, oaky, grainy, um, a bit of spicy. I don't get the depth when I say bready. I don't get a lot of that. Um, togetherness but let's just try it on the palate and, and and see what more i can get for you guys so welcome here first sip with you guys in canada after a few weeks cheers well first sip is a little thin it's got lots of spice and lots of heat um if you're new to rye I think you'll get heat and pepper and spice. That's It's just saying hello. Definitely full rye right there. It's a little bit thin. I, I like a little more heart, a little more body in my rye, but that's also first sip, and it always takes my palate. It's unfair to really rate anything on a first sip, and I have had a couple of sips before I went away, so this is maybe also trying to wake up my memory into some of my other notes. Let's try another one. This is uh, Signature Rye from Wayne Gretzky. Cheers. So much better. Now, I still have, it's actually a little bit of grass, a little bit of menthol, a little bit of that, you know, herbal nature from rye grain that's present in many, many ryes. Full on in the second sip. Grass, herbal, cut alfalfa, that kind of thing. But the second sip also brought in some caramel sweetness with that sugars that I was getting on the nose. 
some other things I think probably from the ex bourbon barrels, right? A little more vanilla, a little more caramel, a little more body. This still drinks hot. It's good. I like rise and rise should have a punch. You know what? I better have another quick sip. It's interesting how the, the third sip actually brought me back some more spices and more peppers. So this is good. It's 50%. It's, it's really nice and integral. It, uh, integral has an integrity feel to it because it's talking about it's casting, it's aging, the type of rye it's used. It just, it really sets up well. Very happy with the price that I paid for this. And I'm enjoying this rye. It does, like by the third sip, I've set back into my notes actually before I went away, which is I'm liking the peppers and the spices. There's hints of those things. I talk about apple, hints of, I talk about caramel. Like there's, there's hints of those other things, but it settles in into oak and spice. I like oak and spice. It just, I feel like it needs a little more integration. So it's a little thin. It's a good solid rye. It's absolutely three and three quarters for me. Push it into four. Like it's a good rye. I'm happy I have it. I will enjoy every moment of it. It's just not yet a great rye for me. I'm not sure why. Great presentation. All right. I wanted to compare it just to actually, sometimes my palate will pick up notes even in this after tasting another thing. So I've got this Templeton rye. Uh, it's sitting on the shelf for a while now. It's a six year old rye. It's um, a 95.5 because I know they're putting out their own liquid now, I believe, but this is an older bottling. So it's definitely MGP. Uh, that means 95% rye, 5% uh, malted barley to kind of open it up. As I said in the opener, I think it's 47, no, 45.75. Yeah, 45.75%. It does have an age stamp of six years, which is kind of why I wanted to compare it to this because I'm like, those are pretty close. You know, five years, six years. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Now this will be, uh, I believe it's all new oak. Now it's not a straight rye. And if you look at my previous review of this one, uh, there is an article interviewing the people that put this together that said they looked at adding some flavors to it. So there could be other things in this bottle than just the rye spirit and the barley. So let's try it on the nose. Uh, so in contrast on the nose, I'm already getting that herbal nature of rye and coming back. This is far more baking spices and, uh, and caramel brown sugar, then the rye comes through. This up front is more rye grain uh, and, and that herbal nature. Let's try it on the palate. Cheers. For my palate, this is much sweeter, confectionery sugar, toasted marshmallow, and then the rye spirit. Actually, I'm surprised. I guess I should try another sip just to, to this is my comparison bottle. The review that I'm talking about is here. So I guess I'll try one more sip, but I'm saying right up front, this is far more herbal natured rye, far more green and grassy, menthol, eucalyptus, all those different things that people are trying to get at, which is basically, you know, that rye grain, which is a grassy grain, has some of that note, depending on how you distill it, and it comes out here. I'll try a second sip. Cheers. That's nice. It actually burns less. Now this is 50 versus 46, um, but it, it actually hugs less than this one. This one has quite a bit of burn in it. Um, but it also stays uh, uh, drying in the palate, which is good on rye and, 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 and grassy, lemongrass and sweet. In comparison though, now that I've had two ryes back to back, which starts to, you know, starts to bring my journey back here now that I'm in Canada and, and, and weeks, months from now, I've had more rye, I'll be a better reviewer. I will say there is more depth in this. This is actually got a little more to it and a little more of that ex bourbon uh, caramel vanilla that those barrels bring. Whereas this stays true to, to solid rye grain and new oak. So even though I said this sets up as oak and spicy and it does, there is a little more caramel vanilla, I think from the ex bourbon and I'm liking this one even more when I do the comparison. So this can push into a four star rye, which I haven't given out in a while. So that's really cool. Doesn't that the star rating doesn't match my notes going away, but in this comparison, I'm enjoying this rye. It's solid. So maybe this is bonus content. I'm not sure if you've stuck around, but you know, 
Uh, when I bought the uh, Wayne Gretzky rye when I went away, they also had this whiskey sour premix cocktail and it you know it's set up at I think it was 23 bucks Canadian it's 30 percent but you know it's got other things in it than whiskey I I uh whiskey sour is one of the cocktails that I do make for myself excuse me um oh I put this ice down a little while ago so there's a little bit of water in there this is not exactly your review I'm not a, a, a cocktail connoisseur but whiskey sour is something that I make for myself so uh, buying a bottle of this, certainly economically priced. I bought it, uh, like I said, into summer and I thought, well, what is that like? And uh, I'll give you a couple of thoughts just on their pre-mix whiskey sour. Cheers. If you like, um, you know, hard lemonade or, or, or anything that's really sour and sweet, but mostly sour, I think you're gonna like this uh, uh, whiskey sour. <laughs> Funny, uh, is this a nice fresh whiskey sour? No, and you know, 23 bucks Canadian, I can't complain, uh, and I didn't in summer when I was just really hot and I just wanted to sit for a moment after mowing the lawn or something. A couple ice cubes, pre-mixed cocktail, it's not bad. But honestly, I would rather take a, a ounce and a half of that and a bit of, fresh lemon juice and and, I just, and a little bit of egg white which they don't have here shake it up get a bit of that froth on there and it would just taste so much richer and so much better so is it worth 23 bucks absolutely if you like whiskey sours and sometimes that's how you like to cool down a bit of ice a little less proof on it than trying to drink a whiskey when you're mowing the lawn it's not bad will i buy it again actually i probably won't uh it was fun but I'd rather make my own. Thanks for joining me here for that little bonus content. Thank you for coming down to the nook. For those of you longtime fans, you can see like I'm starting to get the lights a little better. Uh, I don't know about the focus on me yet. Uh, and this, this top has to change. I don't know, <laughs> it's a pretty cheap uh, bar that I bought here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sand it and restain it. So I gotta think of something else. Uh, some other cover or something because the wood note on this bar just ain't matching the wood on my shelf. Still, it's fun to see more of the collection and it's awesome to kind of have a mini bar instead of just sitting at uh, the card table. So my family can play cards now in the back corner uh, and uh, they don't mess with my whiskey setup. Thanks for joining me here, you guys. It's great to be home. Travel was amazing. I uh, loved Korea, the people, the food was just phenomenal, but being home just always feels good. Thanks for joining me here. Thanks for joining me here in the Nook week after week. You guys are the best. Comments below. Cheers.